your container registry well uh, to be uh, Azure administrator uh, this would be enough to understand how to create a Azure container registry and what it is and where we can uh, use this okay but to actually work upon it you should have the knowledge of docker that's more like a devops or developers thing but don't worry we'll be covering the entire docker and orchestration like kubernetes and swarm series in upcoming days for sure but for now just to complete the microsoft azure architect technology series we need to talk about Azure Container Registry. So here we are. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and let's get started. So Azure Container Registry. Before we understand this part, Azure Container Registry, I just want to make a picture in your head regarding the registry. It is just like a GitHub or a Docker Hub, the repository where we can put our images for the github we can put our codes or things like that it's a docker hub or github are the public repositories and Do docker hub specifically is a public container registry okay similarly azure provide you this resource called azure container registry which is a private repository or registry for you to perform your operations the best part is this is managed so let's go to the flow chart that i have prepared for this a session so azure if you understand what registry is now this will make sense to you because this is a registry but managed and private for you to perform your operations so let's go to the first box it says right here it is managed private docker registry service based on the open source docker registry 2.0 so uh, if you guys are not aware what exactly is docker and container don't worry stay tuned you'll find a lot of videos the entire course the complete administration uh, of docker in the kubernetes for sure but just to be aware this is uh, something which will help you uh, to create the container so it is like on the on the host operating system you have to install a docker engine which will help you to create the containers over it instead of virtual machine and these containers would have everything all the dependencies that is required to run a particular application all the binaries and libraries okay so this is managed private docker registry service based on the open source docker registry 2.0 all right so to to create this registry uh, you you can also create your private registries like your private servers where you can uh, do, uh, put all your images your docker images or you can also utilize the public one this one is the private one so what can we do with this we can store and manage private docker images and related artifacts with the help of azure container registry now we can use i have mentioned some use case the, the it, it's not like you cannot use this with the other resources like open source or uh, the third party vendors it's not like that you can use this registry with kubernetes you can use this with docker swarm you can use this with with your app services with the azure kubernetes services as well so it can be used with all other uh, relevant pipelines or use cases all right so private repository for your team and tools as build endpoint or strong or storing your private okay it should be like this private images all right so we have covered all these things step 
by step about ASR what is ASR it's Azure Container Registry so if you have if 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 the picture for Azure Container Registry is clear for you it is like a repository which is maintained by Azure you don't have the access for it it is all managed by Azure but you can use it for all the purposes for all kind of orchestrations that we have to run the docker containers and docker images okay all right so it is very easy to create azure container registry in azure i'll show you in the next video uh, there are a few things that we need to take care of uh, okay so let's go and understand what all SKUs are provided by Azure when we create Azure Container Registry. Well, we have three SKUs here, basic, standard, and premium. Just like any other SKUs, these will decide the performance and the scalability and things like that as per the SKU you have chosen. For basic, we have the 10 GB of uh, storage with standard it's 100 with premium it's 500 and all these three have the same programmatic capabilities like webhooks you may have a difference in the count for example your basic would have the capability of two webhooks standard would have 10 webhooks but premium can go up to 500 things like that we all know how SKUs work right but we can have these things like Azure radio authentication and image deletion webhooks is supported by all three SKUs provided by Azure for AS ACR okay uh, geo replication is the only thing which is provided by premium that's the most expensive SKU of course and if we talk about the pricing basic one is the cheaper and it increases as we go standard to premium more than double okay it is like 0.167 dollar per day for basic 0.667 per day for standard and 1.667 for premium you it, there is no restriction as of now you can easily change or move across the uh, SKUs. you can change from basic to standard with the with the help of portal or CLI you can do that as of now there's no restrictions so this is a, a overview about the ACR and in next video we'll try to create it and this will help you understand this this topic in a little deeper you would have the better understanding once you see the demonstration lab in the next video well thank you for watching you have a good day